Hello everyone, and welcome to another Beam and G-Drive video. Today I'm going to be showing off my fastest automation cars. I'm really just going to be testing the speed of the cars, not really anything else. Here are the cars that I'm going to be, I'm going to be driving. All look pretty cool. Well, anyways, let's get into the video. So first up, we got my second fastest, or my second fast car. I made a, another one that could go like 270, but I must, I might have deleted that mod. So, I mean, this is this one of my fastest. Here we go. It's all-wheel drive, so you can accelerate really fast. I mean, look at that. Already at 270. And once it gets to at least. Uh, let me say 2.40 it starts getting loose yeah because the, the wheels start pointing different directions or just like the slightest move of the wheel just, like starts making it go different directions so you have to like really I don't know I had to like shake the steering wheel to get it to go straight like just back and forth back and forth and once you get it relatively straight you can get it to go pretty high top speeds. My fastest was 295, but like uh, that was with like slow-mo assistance so I could like have perfect precision on all the steering and stuff. And this is a V10, so it's pretty impressive how it can go like 280 something. I mean, Koenigsegg has V8s, but this is a V10 making 1800 horsepower. Anyway, let's so here's the Dominator Endurance. It's a part of my Dominator series. It's a, it's the Endurance version of all the Dominators. This is the first version. It has a flat plane V8, pretty pretty cool, and and with a manual. And this is the GTR flat plane V8 with a manual. This is this is the next version facelift. It has like a V8 again, manual. This is the eco version, making it has 37 mpg V6. This is the 2019 version, more of a track car than anything else. It has a V8 and stuff, all-wheel drive. And the first one does have all-wheel drive too. Anyways, back to this one. This is the endurance one again, and we're just gonna be testing the top speed. It doesn't have the most horsepower. It's kind of like a. It's meant to be more of a like the endurance racing cars, so it's not supposed to be too fast. And please ignore that I forgot this was a sequ sequential transmission. Once you get going, it's pretty fast. I see we're at 180 already, 190, 200. And then once it get yeah, once it gets up to like two, 200, it starts slowing down the top speed. I mean that, that happens to all cars, <laughs> except for cars that can't go 200. And it just keeps going. Yeah, it gets really slow. You have to cut it. I had to cut this. And top speed 240. That's when the gearing ends. So I mean, it's a pretty good car. It's not really supposed to be the most fast, but it's just one of my fastest still. And this one is the Track Finder. It's pretty bland. It only has like a thousand horsepower. It's meant to be uh, like an in between, like an in between Koenigsegg and in between Lamborghini. So it's like it has. It's like you know medium and also has medium speed and stuff it is rear wheel drive so it does get loose from time to time but it's not that bad and like it's pretty fast to accelerate not the fastest again it's medium speed medium horsepower and everything it's not bad like in the early 2000s like SSC was getting 250 miles an hour and like 1,000 horsepower. And yet it gets way slower to speed up. Yep, it gets really long right here, so nothing really to say. I want to skip to when it gets to 240. Yeah, here we go. Right here. And looks like it's topping out around 245. That's its top speed, basically. No, 246, okay. And there you go. 
not not the fastest, but it's not meant to be the fastest. And this is the Track Finder RT, which stands for Race Track in my whatever I named it. And I don't know if it's supposed to be race track. This one has a thousand three hundred horsepower, so like three hundred plus horsepower from the other one, so it can go pretty fast. Not fast enough for like beating people. But it's pretty good. I mean, look at the acceleration, it's way faster. Already at two hundred, two ten, two twenty. It's climbing faster than the other one, I can see that. Already at 240. Past the top speed of the other one. 250. And it's going pretty fast. Nothing to say, really. And 260. There we go. That's pretty good. It stops pretty fast. I mean, no, the brakes are failing. Anyways, let's get to this one. So this is the Speed Slayer, spelt like this on the screen. And it's like basically a Lamborghini Murcielago, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. Don't, don't be upset about that. I mean, everyone says it like that. Anyways, let's go. This one is all-wheel drive, so again, we can accelerate pretty fast. It has a thousand horsepower, so it's, it's supposed to be another in-between car, like around the speeds of the track finders. But this one is all-wheel drive, so it like accelerates a little bit slower at 200. Yeah, once it gets to 200, the acceleration drops out. That's mainly a thing for all cars, but this one accelerates a bit faster because it's all-wheel drive. And yeah, it really slows down. Yeah, it seems like 240 is its top speed. Like the Dominator Endurance car. So, not, not bad. And... Next one. This is my latest car for this date. It's another pr really fast car. It's... It's really aggressive looking. It's I, I really like how it came out when I made it. The hood scoop. The hood scoop is just to hide the engine sticking out a little bit. Yeah, the engine is really big on this one. It makes 2,700 horsepower out of a 13 liter engine. Yeah, it's 13 liter V12. It's right. Most insane engine yet. Yeah. And it, it spins the wheels even at even at with uh, electronic stability control and still spinning even at like 160 this one's like the toughest to control like you if it doesn't sp it, it doesn't spin when you're at half throttle so it's like a good cruiser but when you're full throttle you, you'll spin out and we're still climbing to 60 and it's still spinning please ignore the turbocharger overheating it it it's do, it doesn't matter. And two fifty two four eighty five two eighty seven. My gosh, it's my fastest car. Two ninety and still going. And we're gonna hit three three hundred now. Yes. And it it can keep keep going because it has uh like three hundred seven mile per hour gear length or whatever and 303 304 what's it going? there we go it just keeps gaining we'll skip to when it gets to 306 or something and there we go 306 and again this one has like the best brakes even and it's still overheating the brakes well, anyways, guys, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching.